Good afternoon, friends. Today is Friday, May 12th, 2023. My name is Kathy Stanley Erickson, and my husband Jim and I are pastors here in Harleysville, Pennsylvania, of this beautiful church right here behind me. I'm going to um, read a Bible verse, two Bible verses actually, and then read a blessing from um, one of my favorite authors, Kate Bowler, and then also her co author, Jessica Ritchie. So the the verses are Romans 12, verses 1 through 2. And I'm reading it from the message translation, the message paraphrase of the Bible. Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. So here's what I want you to do, God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. So now I'm going to read from this book, The Lives We Actually Have, which is a bunch of blessings, 100 Blessings for Imperfect Days. And this one is called For This Ordinary Day. Lord, here I am. How strange it is that some days feel like hurricanes and others like glassy seas and others like nothing much at all. Today is a cosmic shrug. My day planner says rather conveniently, that I will not need you, cry for you, reach for you. Ordinarily, I might not think of you at all, except if you don't mind, let me notice you. Show up in the small necessities and everyday graces. God, be bread, be water, be laundry, be the coffee cup in my hands and the reason to calm down in traffic. Be the gentler tone in my insistence today that people pick up after themselves for once. Be the reason I feel loved when I catch my own reflection or feel my own self-loathing fluttering in my stomach. Calm my mind, lift my spirit, make this dumb ordinary day my prayer of thanks. So friends, I wanted to read that because some days simply are cosmic shrugs as Kate and Jessica say. They're just kind of ordinary. They're nothing much at all it seems. And yet there is so much potential to look around us and to recognize God, our creator and our redeemer and the one who loves us and wants us to love ourselves and others as well. There's so much opportunity to look around us and see God in all of these everyday ordinary moments. And as the verses from Romans said, we can take our everyday ordinary life and we can offer that to God as well. So let's pray. God, we thank you for this ordinary day. For some it is ordinary, for some it might be earth shattering in a negative way, for some it might be earth shattering in a positive way. Whatever this day holds for each one of us, whenever we watch this, we ask God that you would be present in it and that you would make your presence known to us and that we would have the, the courage perhaps to sometimes look at you and to acknowledge your presence even in the ordinariness or the toughness of life. Thank you, God, for this day. We pray for those who are struggling today with different things, including those who are sick. And we offer up Tim Schistler and ask for continued healing for Tim. We offer up those who are struggling with chronic conditions that simply won't go away. And we pray, God, for some hope in their days today. And God, we offer our church to you and ourselves to you. We offer all this through the name of your son, Jesus Christ, amen. Friends, I got a few announcements here, several announcements. First of all, Sunday School link will be going out tomorrow on email as usual. And we invite you to worship Sunday morning, 1030 a.m. We know it's Mother's Day, but what a great way to celebrate. So, And over the next week or so, there are plenty of opportunities to get involved in the life of our church and community. Um, here are a few highlights. Um, senior Adult Ministry, Sam, AKA Slightly Above Middle Age, is meeting on Tuesday, May 16th. They're having a picnic beginning at 11 a.m. On Saturday, May 20th, it's our global 6K walk for water. And this is an incredible event where we, um, we walk 
a 6K and we raise funds to raise awareness as well and to send funds to different countries of the developing world where water, clean water access is not so easy. And so if you'd like to join us in that walk, there's a link to register for walking um, in this week's insights. There's also in that same link, you can, if you don't want to walk or you can't walk, but you would like to donate, you can do that as well. And there's, cause our church has a team, the Christ Covenant Crusaders. So that's Saturday, May 20th. We're meeting at 9 a.m. at the Perk Trail Foy Park at Spring Mount. Sunday, May 21st, that's a week from this coming Sunday, we have the honor of hosting Covenant Missionaries to France, Stephanie and Francisco Ramos. They've been here before, many years ago, they came and spoke at our church, and they'll be speaking during the Sunday worship service. And then afterwards, um, after worship, our second Sunday fellowship becomes third Sunday fellowship. And we'll spend time together with Stephanie and Francisco in Fellowship Hall with some food, fun, French, and fellowship. So please plan to join us for that. And then finally, that same afternoon, Sunday, May 21st, at 3.30, several area churches and organizations are participating in a Gun Violence Awareness Day. The event is working to end gun violence, support sensible gun laws, and eliminate illegal handguns from our community. And so the day's events include a t-shirt memorial to the lost display. Some of you might have seen this in other churches' yards. They might have these out. Um, a witness walk, it's about a mile long that we're gonna walk from Trinity Lutheran Church and then to a certain point and then walk back. And then some remembrance moments and an opportunity for some advocacy. So if you are interested in this Gun Violence Awareness Day and this witness walk, please let me know and I can get you more information about that. And that again begins at 3.30 p.m. at Trinity Lutheran Church on Sunday the 21st. I think that's all I have for now, friends. So have a great weekend, be blessed, and be a blessing.